day 12th of October lead code challenge. The problem that we have in today's largest perimeter triangle. Guys, apologies, there is renovation going on at my place and I am not able to post videos right now. But so far, we have solved all the questions that came for the October monthly challenge. Those are already available on Coding Decoded. So, guys, please check them out. Don't think that we are not solving or we are turning inconsistent. Now it's time to look at the question. The problem that we have is largest parameter triangle. Here in this question, you are given an array of numbers and you need to identify the largest parameter of a triangle that has non-zero area that could be formed using these three using the numbers present in the array. For example, here they have provided us with few examples. I'll be walking you through these examples as well as the algorithm behind it. Why is the presentation? So let's quickly hop onto it. The question says you are given an array has slightly taken a different or a longer example so that you get a good hold of the concept. What do we need to do? The first property that we need to identify is that using three numbers out of this array, we need to form a triangle. And for us to form a triangle, we learned in seventh and eighth standard that the three, the sum of two sides of a triangle should be greater than the third side. So let's assume we have a triangle with sides L1, L3 and L2 wherein the relation between these three sides is somewhat like this. L3 has the largest value and L1 has the least value. And we can conclude that if sum of the lower two sides is greater than L3, then we can easily form a triangle out of it. Also, the rest of the two equations wherein L2 plus L3 is greater than L1, these will automatically be true by virtue of L3 being the largest, L1 being the smallest and L2 being the middle one. Similarly, if this condition is met, we don't need to check the rest of the two conditions. Pretty simple and straightforward. Now let's talk about the array that is given to us. So in the first step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort this array up. And once I've sorted this array, I'll traverse in the reverse direction. Starting from over here, I'll select three elements and I'll select the least two elements out of these three elements and that would be 9 and 12. So let's check whether this fulfills our equation or not. 9 plus 12 gives you 21. Is 21 greater than 22? No, it's not. That means you can't form a triangle using these three numbers. Let's move a step back. Now this time my window size becomes this. And let's again check whether the sum of least two elements out of in this window 8 plus 9 gives you 17 is 17 greater than 12. The answer is yes. So that simply signifies that using these three numbers, we will form a triangle and we will abort the process there and then itself. Why? Because in the question it is specified, we need to identify the largest parameter triangle that could be formed. All the values towards the left would be of lower value. Therefore, we will ignore this. We will avoid the process there and then itself. And let's return the parameter sum of these three sides, 8 plus 9 plus 12, that would be 29. And this becomes our answer. The time complexity of this approach is order of n log n. To conclude it up fully, let's quickly walk through the coding section. In the first go, we sort the array up and we sort it in increasing order. Then we move in the reverse direction, starting from the largest element towards the least element. And with each iteration, we extract L3, L2 and L1 and then we apply the same formula that I talked in the presentation. L1 plus L2 is greater than L3. If that is the case, we abort the process there and then itself and we return L1 plus L2 plus L3. If this condition is never met, we simply return 0 over there. The time complexity of this approach is n log n. The space complexity of this approach is constant time. Also, if you are looking out for solutions in other languages, then the subscribers of Coding Decoded regularly post them on Coding Decoded GitHub repo. And you can see that all the solutions starting from August 2020 are being listed over here month wise. So let's go to October 2022. You will find solutions in C++, Java and Python. The subscribers of Coding Decoded regularly post solutions and by this, they are able to achieve great level of consistency. So if you are also aspiring for it, then this is the right place for you. Go ahead and create the pull request. I'll review those pull requests and I'll merge it into a master. This would be a great contribution to the open source community and for all those who solve daily lead code problems. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription truly means a lot to me. And I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.